welcome to the lecture series on numerical methods. Last class we have discussed this numerical integration based on uh, trapezoidal rule, composite trapezoidal rule and uh, Simpson's rule. So, today we will just go for the discussion of uh, this uh, integration method based on composite uh, Simpson's 1 by 3 rule and uh, some of the examples based on uh, composite Simpson's 1 by 3 rule and then Simpson's 3 by 8 rule and then we will just go for some examples of 3 by 8 Simpson's rule. So, last class uh, we have discussed about this uh, 1 by 3 Simpson's rule, there itself I have just written this formula, this 1 by 3 Simpson's rule. as integration a to b f of x dx, this can be written in the form of like uh, h by 3 f of a plus 4 f of uh, a plus b by 2 plus f of b, where h can be defined as b minus a by 2. Since we are just dividing this uh, total domain into two sub parts here, if our starting point is a, a equals to x 0 here, then middle point we are just assuming that a plus b by 2 here and the last point b as uh, x 2 here, so middle point is x 1, then we can just rewrite this formula as in the form of like a h by 3 f of x 0 plus 4 f of x 1 plus f of uh, x 2 here. So, if you just go for a composite formula of this 1 by 3 Simpson's rule, then since we are just considering only two sub intervals here, then the total intervals should be divided into 2 n plus 1 number of nodal points, then we can just use this Simpson's 1 by 3 rule there. And if you will just go for the step size here, then for composite Simpson's rule here, composite 1 by 3 Simpson's rule, we have to divide this total interval that b minus a by n sub intervals here. This means that uh, sorry this is a 2 n we have to consider, since total number of tabular points is a 2 n plus 1. And the nodal points it can be chosen either in the form of like a, a equals to x0, then x1, then x2. Since all are of equispaced here, then we can just write x3. So, likewise, we can just write the last point here that is in the form of like x0 plus 2nh that is xn here, this equals to b here. So, that is why it is just considered it of like 2 n plus 1 points here. So, that is why we can just consider a equals to x 0 then x 1 equals to a plus h or x 0 plus h then x 2 equals to x 0 plus 2 h. So, likewise just we can just write the last point it can be written in the form of uh, x of 2 n if you will just write since 2 n plus 1 points here. So, if you will just write x of 2 n, so then it can be written as x 0 plus 2 n h here, this equals to b here. So, if you will just write this 1 by 3 Simpson's rule in a composite form, then we can just write this integration that as in the form of a to b f of x dx since we are just starting this point from x 0 here. So, x 0 to x 2 f of x dx plus x 2 to x 4 f of x dx plus likewise we can just write the last point as x of 2 n minus 1 x of 2 n f of uh, x dx here. Sorry, we have we have to write this one as x of 2 n minus 2 since a uh, twice points it is just required there that is a 
one sub interval since we are just dividing if this point is written from x0 to xn here then xn can be replaced as a 2n here then equally we are just subdividing this domain into 2n parts there. So, that is why we can just write since the starting point is x0 to x2 here then x2 to x4. So, last point it will go from x of 2n minus 2 to x of 2n here. And in each of the intervals, if you just use this uh, 1 by 3 Simpson's rule, then specially it is called composite Simpson's rule here. So, then if you just apply this uh, 1 by 3 Simpson's rule in each of these intervals here, then this formula can be written as in the first interval x0 to x2 f of x dx, this can be written as like h by 3 f of x0 4 f of x1 plus f of x2 here. Similarly, in the second interval if you just write x2 to x4 f of x dx, this can be written as h by 3 f of x2 4 f of x3 plus f of x4 here. So, likewise if you just write the last interval it can be written in the form of x of 2 n minus 2 x of 2 n f of x dx here this can be written as h by 3 f of x of 2 n minus 2 plus 4 f of x of 2 n minus 1 plus f of x of 2 n here. So, if you will just add all these terms, then we can just obtain this composite trapezoidal rule that is in the form of like integration a to b f of x dx, this equals to h by 3 f of first point that is x naught plus last point f of x 2 n plus the four coefficient terms that is f of x 1, f of x 3 of 2 f of x 2 min minus 1 here. So, that can be written as like f of x 1 plus f of x 3. So, of 2 f of x of 2 n minus 1 plus twice of the repeated terms if you will just see here like f of x 2 is appearing here, f of x 2 is appearing here. So, then again f of x 4 will appear here, then f of x 4 is appearing here. So, that is why we can just write twice of this even number terms that is f of x 2 plus f of x 4 plus of 2 f of x of 2 n minus 2. So, this is basically called the composite 1 by 3 Simpson's formula here. And if you just go for this error computation of this 1 by 3 Simpson's rule here, then last class we have just derived this error for this Simpson's 1 by 3 rule. And if you will just consider like our earlier trapezoidal rule, so in each of these intervals we will have a maximized error that is in the form of like minus h by 90. So, first error if you just see for this interval here that is minus h to the power 5 by 90 f fourth of zeta 1. Second one if you will just consider here that is h to the power 5 by 90 f to the power 4 of zeta 2 here. So, likewise if you in each of this intervals if you will just uh, take this error terms and if you will just uh, add all this error terms then we can just get this one as in the form of like minus h by h to the power 5 by 90 f to the power 4 of zeta 1 plus f to the power 4 of zeta 2 up to f to the power 4 of zeta n. Since we are just dividing this 2 n number of points or 2 n plus 1 number of points into 2 n number of intervals here and then in twice of this interval or sub intervals like 2 points within 2 points we are just getting one error term. So, that is why this total number of error terms it will be like n number of terms there. So, that is why the last point of this error term it is just coming as f to the power 4 of zeta n here. 
and in a composite form if you just write that is the maximum bound of error that is absolute modulus of r of f of x if you just write here maximum modulus that is r of f of x here. So, we can just write this should be less or equal to first term here that is h to the power 5 by 90 and if you just consider all other terms f to the power 4 of zeta 1, f to the power 4 of zeta 2 plus of 2 f to the power 4 of zeta n here. or we can just write this way n as uh, like 2 n by 2. So, that is why if you just consider all these terms at a time, so it can be written in the form of like uh, this should be less or equal to less or equal to h to the power or n h to the power 5 by 90. So, this can be written as n h to the power 5 by 90 and this uh, maximum error that is occurring between a to b for this f4 of x here. This one we can just write maximum of f to the power 4 of x where x would be lies between a to b this one. And obviously, sometimes we can just write that one n h equals to b minus a by 2 if you just see here that is a your a size that is defined as b minus a by 2 n here. So, n h if you will just replace here like n h this equals to b minus a by 2. So, we can just uh, write this one as like h to the power 4 by 180 and b minus a maximum of x lies between a to b f to the power 4 of x here. So, this one is a the representation of error in composite Simpson's 1 by 3 rule here and it can be observed from the expression of error that this composite 1 by 3 Simpson's rule is of order 3 here. Since fourth order term it is just giving the error term here. So, since we have already explained that one usually if this error term is written in the form of like integration a to b f of x dx minus summation k equals to 0 to n lambda k f of x k this equals to c by p plus 1 factorial into f to the power p plus 1 zeta there. So, that is why p should be the order of this polynomial which will give you the exact solution. So, that is why for degree 3 we are just exactly getting 0 values at this integration level. So, that is why this order of this uh, error terms can be considered as 3 here since p plus 1 equals to 4 here. So, next we will just go for the example of uh, this uh, 1 by 3. Simpson's rule and uh, this composite uh, 1 by 3 Simpson's rule here. So, if you just go for this uh, Simpson's 1 by 3 rule, then suppose the example is given as like find the approximate value of this integration that is i equals to integration 0 to 1 dx by 1 plus x. using Simpson's 1 by 3 rule with 8 equal sub intervals. 1 by 3 Simpson's rule for 8 sub intervals. So, if you just uh, use this uh, 8 sub intervals here, then we can just consider that n equals to 2n that equals to 8 here and then we can just define, define this uh, h that in the form of like b minus a by 2 n here and then we can just write this one as 1 by 8 obviously. Since your integration range a is given as a 0 here b as 1, so that is why it can be written as 1 minus 0 by 8 that as 1 by 8. And the nodal points, if you just write in this form here, then it can be written in the form of like x0 equals to 0, x1 equals to 1 by 8 means 0 0.125, x2 equals to like 0 0.25, and x3 
x3 equals to 0.375, x4 equals to 0.5, then x5 this equals to 0.625, x6 equals to 0.75, x7 equals to 0.875, x8 equals to 1.0. And then if you just use this following uh, uh, tabular values for this function f of x equals to 1 by x here, 1 by 1 plus x, then this functional values that will just uh, give like the values as uh, 1.0 for 0 here, since if you will just see x equals to 0 means uh, this is f of x equals to 1, then 0 0.125 it will just give you 0 0.8888889, then 0 0.25 it will just give you 0 0.8 here, 0 0.375 this will just give you 0 0.727273, 0 0.5 it will just give you 0 0.6667 here, 0 0.625 this value will just give as 0 0.615385, 0 0.75 the value will just give as 0 0.571429, 0 0.875 this is given as 0 0.533333 and 1.0 obviously it is 1 by 1 plus 1, so that is why it will just give you 1 by 2 means 0.5 here. So, if you just use this formula here, then this integration can be written in the form of like h by 3 f of x0 plus f of uh, xn that is uh, like 1.0 here plus 4 times the even terms here that is in the form of like if you just write x1 plus f of x3, f of x5 or terms here sorry and uh, then last point is f of x7 here. then plus 2 into f of x2 plus f of x4 plus f of x6 so if you just put all these values here the corresponding uh, nodal points whatever it is just defined so correspondingly this functional values if you just put in this formulation here, then you can just obtain this value as 0 0.10615 here. And if you just see this exact value, so this value is just giving you like 0 0.10615 here. And if you will just see i exact value, so this is nothing but 0 to 1 dx by 1 plus x here. So, it can be represented in the form of ln of 1 plus x, this is 0 to 1 here and uh, this is nothing but ln of 2 this one, since ln of 1 is 0 and this value is coming as 0 0.6 9 3 and uh, first value if you will just see this one, so this integral value just coming as like, a, so this value is coming as like a 0.693155 here and if you will just take the difference of i exact minus uh, i s here, then we can just obtain this value as 0 0.693147 minus 0 0.693155 here, so this will just give you like 0 0.00008. So, error is very less here for this uh, case. So, next we will just go for Simpson's 3 by 8 rule here. In this method, so f of x is approximated by a cubic polynomial. Since in the beginning of the first case, that is trapezoidal rule, we have written that uh, f of x is approximated with a linear polynomial. Then in the second case, like 1 by 3 Simpson's rule, we have just uh, taken that uh, f of x is approximated by a quadratic polynomial, then 
for Simpson's 3 by 8 rule, we will just consider that f of x will be approximated by a cubic polynomial here. To construct this cubic polynomial, so 4 nodal points are required at best, we can just say like x0, x1, x2 and x3 here. Hence, this interval will be subdivided into 3 equal parts to obtain 4 nodal points. So, for that we have to consider h equals to b minus a by 3 there and the nodal points can be written as nodal points are like uh, x0 equals to a then x0 plus h equals to x1 x0 plus 2h as x2 here then x0 plus 3h this equals to x3 here. So, usually we are just defining this sub intervals three sub intervals. So, that is why we can just write this one a equals to x0, 1, 2, then three sub intervals x1, x2, x3 here, h, h, h here. Now, if you will just uh, go for this Newton's forward difference formula like the earlier cases. So, the cubic polynomial approximation for f of x interpolating these points like p of x0 f of x0 then q of x1 f of x1 then r of x2 f of x2 and s of x3 f of x3 then we can just write this formula that is in the form of like f of x0 if you just write these three different uh, terms like f of x equals to f of x0 so first term can be written as x minus x0 so p delta of f of x0 plus x minus x0 sorry by h it will be there x minus x1 by h 1 by 2 factorial del square of f of x0 plus x minus x0 by h x minus x1 by h x minus x2 by h 1 by 3 factorial delta q of f of x0 then we can just uh, obtain this formula for uh, this 3 by 8 Simpson's rule here. So, just uh, then we will just uh, take this integration here that is in the range of from a to b here, a to b, then a to b dx here, dx here, integration x0 to x3 or you can just write a to b dx here then a to b dx here if you will just integrate this one then you can just obtain this uh, formula that is in the form of like 3h by 8 f of x0 plus 3 into f of x1 plus 3 into f of x2 plus f of x3 here. So, this expression is basically called uh, the 3 by 8 Simpson's rule here. So, all of these values it can be expressed in the form of terms of x0 and uh, h since x1 can be written in the form of like x0 plus h, x2 can be written in the form of x0 plus 2h and x3 can be written in the form of x0 plus 3h here. And the error approximation for this Simpson's 3 by 8 rule if you will just uh, go like our earlier computation then we can just obtain this one as uh, r of f of x here. this equals to minus of b minus a whole to the power 5 by 2 8 sorry this is 6 4 8 0 f to the power 4 of zeta here where zeta should be lies between a and b. And in terms of h, if you will just write, this can be written in the form of like a minus 3 h to the power 5 by 80 f to the power 4 of zeta here and h can be written in the form of like b minus a by 3 here. And uh, from this expression, it is also uh, shown that this uh, order of approximation for the error is a third order here also. Since a when f of x is a polynomial of a degree less or equal to 3, then r3 of f of x it is just giving the 0 value here. And uh, this shows that the error increases as b minus a values are increasing here also. And in this case, this uh, interval a b is uh, subdivided into a 
number of uh, sub intervals that can be represented in terms of uh, 3 k plus 1 here. So, earlier it was 2 n plus 1 since 2 sub intervals we have just uh, considered. So, here 3 sub intervals so that is why it can be considered as a 3 k plus 1 total number of points small n equals to 3 k plus 1 here. Then simply we can just use 3 by 8 Simpson's rule. Then if you just go for uh, like uh, composite Simpson's rule here then the total number of points can be taken as 3 k plus 1 where your h can be divided in the form of like b minus a divided by 3 k or we can just consider this 3 k equals to n is the total number of points there. And all of these nodal points it can be represented in the form of a equals to x 0 then b equals to x 0 plus 3 k h that is x n usually it can be written. So, if you just write here x 0 equals to a then x of 3 k this can be written as x n equals to b here. And usually it can be represented in the form of x 0 plus 3 k h the last point. And uh, in composite form if you just write uh, this uh, uh, 3 by 8 uh, Simpson's rule then it can be written in the form as integration a to b f of x dx this equals to this is composite 3 by 8 rule. Especially it can be written in the form of like a 3 h by 8. So, first point f of x 0 plus f of x n is the last point plus 3 into f of x 1 f of x 2 if you will just see here. So, 2 coefficients that is x 1 and x 2 takes the 3 coefficients and the last point f of x 3 is considered as the single coefficient. Again if you will just apply this one the starting point will be f of x 3 there. So, that is why these points will goes up to f of x of n minus 1 points. So, plus 2 into f of x 3 plus f of x 6. So, likewise it will just go up to f of x n minus 3 here. This is basically called uh, composite uh, Simpson's 3 by 8 rule. Similarly, the error can be computed by considering since uh, we are just considering this uh, 3 sub intervals at a time. So, that is why it can be divided by 3 means say we can just finally consider as k intervals here or k maximized values within this uh, sub intervals. So, that is why this final error ca term can be written in the form of 3 by 90 k h to the power 5 maximum of uh, f to the power 4 x, x lies between a and b here. So, using this uh, 3 by 8 rule if you will just uh, try to solve one problem basically the problem statement it can be written in the form of like uh, suppose i equals to 1 to 2 dx by 5 plus 3 x with 3 and 6 a sub intervals. Then we can just define this problem as the given problem states that i equals to 1 to 2 dx by 5 plus 3 x here. And we have to consider 3 and 6 sub intervals. So, here we can just consider n equals to 3 first then n equals to 6 here. So, a equals to 1 here b equals to 2 then h can be written as like b minus a by n here. So, that is why we can just write that is like uh, 2 minus 1 by 3 here. So, 1 by 3. So, then we can just uh, use this formula that is uh, i as uh, 3 by 8 rule for this 3 point we can just write h by 3 h by 8 usually you are just writing. So, 1 by 3 we can just write this one as uh, so, directly I can just write this formula that will be easy to understand. So, 3 h by 8 f of x 0 that is in the form of like f of 1 here. So, plus 3 f of x 1 
x1 can be considered as a 1 plus 0.3 here. So, we can just consider that one as a like a 4 by 3 here plus 3 f of like 5 by 3 plus f of 2. From this uh, you can just uh, obtain all of these values uh, like functional values once uh, f of x if you just write here in the form of like 1 by 5 plus 3 x from there itself you can just get f of 1, f of 4 by 3, f of 5 by 3 and uh, f of 2 and put these values and uh, you can just obtain these values here. And uh, if you will just uh, go for the calculation of 6 points here, then repeatedly you have to use all of this uh, 2 sequences, once more sequence uh, you have to, one more sequence you have to add it off to get this final answer here. And if you will just go for this uh, exact value, so the exact value computation is just giving this value as 0 0.10615, but in 3 point form we are just also getting 0 0.10616 here. But in a, like a 2 sub intervals if at a time we are just considering like 6 points, then we are just obtaining this value as 0 0.10615 here. And this magnitude of error if you will just compute, so for n equals to 3, we are just uh, getting this value as 0 0.00001, for, for n equals to 6, so this correct value is giving at least up to 5 decimal places here. So the Conclusion is that if we are just using like more number of sub intervals, then this value is just uh, giving the accurate values in both this like exact solution and this like computed solution or numerical solution in the same form. But if you are just considering less number of intervals, then this uh, error is just uh, getting increasing. Thank you for listening this lecture.